Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I thought I'd show you how to do my little hook only heart. And uh, we, we will use a loom just to do the magic ring, but other than that, it's going to be on our hook. I do use the Clover Soft Touch, it's a C or 2.75 millimeter. I find that one uh, to be the nicest for when I'm actually doing crochet work. So this is our little heart, a little bit different. And um, I'm going to be using a stitch that is not a single crochet. I've been trying to work out how to do a double half crochet and a double crochet and a triple crochet. And I'm, I'm really not sure what I would call these particular stitches that I'm doing, but they seem to work where this pattern sort of where I want to use a double crochet or a half, you know, double half and stuff like that. Um, this seems to work. So uh, I'm going to give this a whirl and let you know what you think. Or let you let me know what you think. So I'm going to take my loom. I'm going to use pink. I'm using the rainbow loom rose coloured because I've done the uh, the white and the red. So I'm going to take a single band and I'm going to just wrap it around twice on my peg. Now I'm going to do my magic ring 12, 12 bands for that. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So 12 little bands for that. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see me a little clearer. Using your hook, go down past the, the pink bands on your loom. Pull your first one through and reclaim and one over the other and budge it around. You're going to do this for all 12. It's going to be, get a bit crowded. And if you need help doing the magic ring, I do have a video under tips and tricks on how to do a magic ring. And it's uh, a very close up, slow video just to show you. If you're not familiar with uh, Almagurumi with loom bands, Lumagurumi as we're calling it, I have a beginner's guide to Lumagurumi. And that can teach you some of the basic stitches so that as you come to do some of these designs, you're not completely lost and feeling uh, a bit overwhelmed. So we're just doing our little magic ring here. With 12 stitches in it. Back down from my last one. and take that off your loom. Just spread it out so that these bands are evenly spaced around that little circle. If you count here, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, we need to do one more. I had one more band. One band was not there, so let's do our twelfth. Always good to check that you have the right amount. There we go. Make sure that's in its right spot. There we are. Twelve. Okay, so we'll count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Number twelve is on our hook. Alright. So we're going to push our hook through that first one there. Alright, that's our first stitch. And what we're going to do is a slip stitch to start with. So you take your first band and pull it through that first stitch and then through the stitch that we have on our hook and reclaim. So you've got them both on that. You're going to then chain another two. So here's one and another one. Two. Now we're going to go back in through this first stitch here. All right. And we're going to take a single band and pull it through and reclaim on your hook. Now this is where I'm thinking that this is probably how we could do a double crochet. But uh, I have not tested it by doing anybody else's patterns because I don't usually do other people's patterns. I usually just sort of make my own stuff up. But I'm going to have to obviously make somebody else's stuff and see if this works out. Taking your second band pull it through and you're going to just add this side okay 
So you, on your next, you've got this loop here, this, this band here looped. Take the first loop up and over like that so that this side is still left on your hook. Reclaim. You now have three bands on your hook, three loops. Take a single and pull through all three and reclaim. Now that's how I've been sort of working out how to do my double crochet. All right. In our next stitch, which is this one here, we're going to do two of those double crochets. So put your hook through, pull your first band through, grab your second band, put it on the end of your hook, pull it through. Don't reclaim just yet. You're going to put this end of the loop on to the band like so keep this one over here and now reclaim so you have three loops on your hook again single band pull it through collect them all together so that they're held by that one band you're going through that second loop again that second stitch and we're going to do another one pull your first band through and reclaim grab a second band pull it through do not reclaim you're going to put this side up and over keep this side here now reclaim and you have three loops on your hook take a single band connect them all together so now we've done we've got two in here and two in here for our next stitch what we're going to do or for our yeah, our next stitch here, which is number three, this one here, we're going to do a double first. So go through with your first band and then your second band. Move this side over like so. Reclaim and join them together. Now, this is not going to be a single crochet, but I'm not sure whether we, we should really call it a double half or, or what. Go through that same stitch. You're grabbing a single band. Now, whereas with a, it's almost, we're almost doing like a slip knot, except we're still having three loops on our hook. So whereas normally we would pull through like that for a slip knot, we're not doing that. And for a single crochet, we'd, we'd collect this up and put one over the other, and we're not doing that either. What we're actually doing, let me put that back on my finger, is we're putting this loop here, just like we were doing with the doubles, over like that, reclaiming so again you have three here which is why I'm thinking maybe we could say this is the half but I'll, as I said I have to do some and join together like that okay now we're going to do two more of those in this next stitch here this is our next stitch here so take a single band draw it through add this one on reclaim so you've still got the three take a single band and connect. Do that again in that same stitch. One, oh, let's make sure we add that little loop to it, like that. Reclaim and join together with another band. Okay, now what we're going to do in these next three, one, two, and three, we're doing a single stitch in each of them. It's going to be the double, the double crochet, or what I'm calling a double crochet. So pull your hook, your band through, that's the first stitch. Grab your second band, pull it through. Don't reclaim. Add that band to it. Now reclaim and join them together. We're not going back through that stitch, we're going through the next stitch and we're going to do the same thing single band, reclaim, second band, pull through, add the loop, reclaim and join together. In this third, this I'm saying third stitch, in this next stitch you're going to do the same again. So in once with a single band, another band, add your loop to it, 
reclaim. You've got three loops on your hook. Join them together with a single band. Okay. Now what we're going to do is two of our, what I'm going to call the halves, double halves. Put your hook in here, your next stitch, a single band, and take your loop over, join. So you've still got your three loops on your hook, join them together. Go back through that same stitch, and we'll do that again. Single band, add that loop to it, reclaim, and join together. Alright, now what we have to do is a single in this one, well I'm not, it's not a single, the half, double half or half double, don't, don't reclaim, pull that loop over, now reclaim, single band, join them together. Next to that one, in that same loop, we're going to do our double, so take your single band and then another band, pull it through, add the loop, reclaim and join together. In this next one here, we're going to do the two doubles. Alright, so here's our first one and our second, add the loop in reclaim, join together and you're going to go back into that stitch and do the same thing again. Here's your first one and your second, put the loop over, reclaim and join together. We're nearly at the end here, we've got one more stitch here so go through, we're doing two doubles in here as well. Here's our first one, next stitch, next band, add the loop, just that one side, so you've got three loops on your hook, join together, and one more time in that loop there, single band, pull it through, second band, pull it through, add the loop, three bands, three loops on your hook and join together. Now at this stage you want to join this here down here. So what we're going to do, put your hook through this loop here. Grab a single band and we're doing a slip knot. That doesn't look like a very good strong band. Let's use this one. Pull it through. You're going to put both of these loops on that. Reclaim and then take one over the other and pull tight. And there you have a little heart. You can spread it out a little bit. Now, the, um, there you have your little heart. This little loop at the back, all you do is hide it under some of these little bands. And if you have a look of your for your magic ring here, you've got the perfect bands to hide it under. You can just pop through here and you want to do it on the back so that it's not so obvious but there look you can see these little two little loops here there's two little loops here just poke it under and draw through now don't draw so hard that you distort the shape of your little heart but just go through there and then basically you're adding your tie off band to your magic ring see like that and nobody will be any the wiser that there is a tie off band there. Like so. So then it looks good either side. I really hope you enjoy making it. Take care. Bye bye.